guys welcome to my lego life where today i'm filming a channel trailer for my lego life and i just thought i'd show you a bit of sort of behind the scenes of how i film something like this so yeah i'm starting off over in this part of the room uh with what is a bit of a creation just to showcase um more of the mocks part of my channel the modifications part guys welcome back to a brand new video on my lego life and today i'm going to be showing you how i made my uh well, Lego Channel trailer, which is obviously my Lego Live. Now, I'm starting off um, with something I made just for this, um, just to sort of showcase modifications I like to make to sets, because I do that quite a lot on my channel. That's probably one of the main things. And that is one to this coaster. Now, I've been making all sorts of changes to this. But um, this is a sort of more significant one that I just thought would be a good idea. Um... And yeah, it's just literally, so I can get a couple of second clip, I'm just literally starting to make the um, trailer now. I haven't even started to do any clips. Yeah, it's just, I've made the switch track on the coaster, so it'll come up here, and it'll be able to switch between. That went well, didn't it? Um, yeah, it's going to be a very sort of messy video, just with highlights and stuff. Just showcasing some of the stuff I make for this in more than like a two second clip but yeah so this is more going to showcase all the modifications and stuff i make to sets so yeah that's that i'm just going to take a couple of second clip of me running that over the track as you saw from those last two clips it's not going so well as well as i thought this clip would, um, and the coast just just come off, uh, the track's there, but it's right in the supports, and I can't get to it well enough to pull it off without pulling the track off, which, I mean, isn't best. So this, as I say, is going to be very raw footage. I'm not, I'm not doing anything with this uh, footage. I'm literally just going to put all of the clips together and be done with this video. Um, just literally, because that's what I wanted it to be. Right, so I've just done that then. I got a really good take on it that I'm quite happy with. After around, I'd say, probably 20-odd takes. So I'll talk about the problems that I ran into then with it. So what I was trying to do was... Um, I'll just put this up there. It's got stuck. Great. Um, what I was trying to do was just get a little shot of it going over this switch track here. Um, basically, the aim was it come down here. I'd do this, put it across the switch. Just get a little clip of that. But the first problem was I had to stop it and push it from here. So I figured out the stop it. I just thought, oh no, but I'll just build a stopper, which I did with some bricks hanging off the station platform. That did indeed work fine. I mean, it could hit that no problem. But then you could always see my hand sort of. So the angle I had the camera at was um, just here. You could always see my hand just push it through like that. So what I did was basically built a lego finger um just to sort of extend it and you can you could see this when it come through but i just thought oh it doesn't really matter i can't get around that unless i built some big technic contraption but yeah so i did actually manage to figure that out as you saw from the final shot now that is it for this sort of modification scene now the next one that i'm going to be working on is um mocks now i don't make many mocks i do do a lot more modifications now i'll let you guys sort of tell me if this is a mock or a mod uh, modification here because it's fully custom but it then also does sort of follow the same sort of design as other sets as in it's similar length similar height and just similar everything so yeah this is what i want to use for the mock scene um, as it's like my favorite, the thing I'm most proud of, custom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the camera all set up here um, and probably maybe just do it like I'm making a video because with this, um, it's not faked. Um, I'm just trying to make... I don't keep like clips of videos to make a trailer um, because I don't have storage space for them uh, like on the computer or even on my phone. So, yeah, I don't have space to keep them, so I do sort of have to recreate them. 
um, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, as much as I'd like them to be real, it's, it's just me like, see, I'll be looking at this like I was almost filming a video on it. So yeah, I'm about to film those clips now. Hopefully that'll be a lot easier than the last one. little mock that I made so yeah this is a police van um, just based off another set so as you saw then I just got a load of footage of me talking about that police van almost like it was in a video but also sort of explains it just for the trailer because I don't know if I'm going to go full mute sort of music over the background um, for it, or I'm going to do like bits of talking in the middle um, yeah so the next thing I need to film is um, well it's some upcoming sets and more things about the city. So like things you can expect to see almost this year. Because uh, if you don't already know. The things I film on this channel tend to be. Set reviews. Modifications mocks. City updates. And um, amusement park updates. And then just general Lego room stuff. So yeah I want to capture a lot of that. So I'm going to do some bits on sets. That I haven't reviewed yet. Like Bowser the Mythica thing. Um, then maybe a bit on the Technic sort of stuff. Definitely some shots of the roller coaster, and yeah, just bits like that. Um, just to more sort of showcase what this channel's about. One isn't like the creator three and one tiger as well. It's the size of this Bowser set as well is absolutely incredible. Really detailing on the face there. So yeah, as you saw there from some clips, it's not fake reviews, it's just me sort of showcasing actually. Really me doing my favourite parts of these sets. Like with the Mythica set, obviously I'm not reviewing this yet, so we'll look away from that. Um, but yeah, I just sort of <clears throat> talked about some things that will be talked about in this video. Um, again, with the bounce, I did something quite simplistic. I just went how big it is and that, the roller coaster. So I just did some sort of little mini reviews. Now next, what I'm going to do is, well, on the city, I've already talked about that one um, in one of the clips. Uh, just going to do some sort of city updates stuff, just where I'm going to show some highlights almost of future up and coming things. It's about to start work then on the Lego retail park. I might actually have to look at doing some facades um, to go next to this. Right, so I've just done a sort of section on my Lego city. That was very quick just um, because I really don't want to give away too much for what's happening in the city um, because I am starting the upload. The updates again now um as i well i haven't really mentioned in this video i haven't really recorded anything for three weeks which is why i'm not at my best for lego videos um but yeah so having done the city stuff now uh, i'm going to be well i've got to do some stuff around the room and then do some stuff sort of focusing on the amusement park then after that i think i'm nearly done for doing these little clips because it's a trailer i want to keep it under about a minute and a half to two minutes um, and it sort of just gives you an introduction to the channel because I did one where I talked, but that's over two years ago. That's it needs updating sort of thing. So that's what this is. The backlog now is on this uh, wall just on the back of my desk. Set for a pound up there. I just keep my boxes down here as well. Lego books. Quite sure what I want to do with the Nin Ninjago set yet, the Legoland one. Yeah, so next then, uh, as you may, might have saw, I just talked a little bit about the Lego room and then I did the amusement park. Yeah, there's one more thing that I forgot that I need to do is just I'm going to do a little section on how I organise my parts. So yeah, I'll do that now. I was in there. So yeah, that's most of the clips that I need to do. If I think of anything else, and I'll sort of keep doing them. Um, I think actually I do need to I just thought about I need to do something about the minifigures as well because that is a big focus on my channel. So yeah, I was actually going to do this on a video, but I haven't really got sort of upload space because I've got that many uploads and because I haven't been doing any for the Lego channel. I was actually going to do this as a separate video, which I still might, but I definitely do want to get me opening up a pack of minifigures on my channel. Uh, and the reason for this, if you didn't already know, um, my first ever pro like video was of me opening up some, opening, opening up some minifigures and it's my favorite video to film i absolutely love it more than halls even bigger sets i love opening minifigures on camera um so i'm definitely gonna get a sort of clip of that 
So yeah, as I said then, literally just fil filmed uh, this two-pack opening. Just thought I'd sit down, get that done, because um, I did really want to do those. Um, so I just thought, yeah, I'll do that two-minute video on that, so I'll just clip some highlights out of that. Uh, then now, all I've got to do is just talk about these quickly. Then I can edit the trailer together and you'll be able, well, you will have seen that hopefully. Series 24 in, one and two here. Yeah, that is finally all the clips that I needed just for that um, little sort of trailer filmed. Now, I didn't, it wasn't the best sort of thing to film, to be honest, just sort of, because you've got to get almost like you've edited it out of a vlog. But it's also got to be something that I'm, I am going to do and what is going to feature in it um yeah so just more being like i was filming a review when you've literally just got to take a two second clip so i do find that quite hard but yeah what i'm going to do now is i'm going to edit it all together and that's where i'm basically going to wrap up this uh, vlog of how i made it so as you saw i'll just film all those clips put them all together um, and put them into this channel trailer which if you haven't seen already it'll be somewhere on youtube now if this vlog's going up then that's gone up anyway um but yeah so all I've got to do now is edit that together, which obviously is the hardest part. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this sort of quick, sort of, well, video on how I made that video. I'm going to do one on how I make a usual Lego review, um, because I know that's something that, well, I I'd enjoy making, and I know quite a lot of people will quite like watching it. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.